very quick, easy way to make granolas for your breakfast, for your family, for kids, for friends, or the loved ones. Basically, all you have to do, get a bowl. What I'll do to make this task really, really easy, get some cooking paper, scrunch it right up, open it up, put it in a bowl, yeah, like that. And basically, what you have to do is put a series of different uh, superfood and different products in here. I've got uh, Loving Earth shredded coconuts, about one cup, throw it in there. I've got one cup of Loving Earth bikinis, throw it in there. I've got half a cup, mm, one fourth of a cup of Loving Earth cacao powder, throw it in there. I've got one fourth of a cup of Loving Earth goji berries, throw it in there. And I've got sultanas, about one fourth, half a cup, half a cup of sultanas. And then I've got one fourth of a cup of cacao nips, loving earth cacao nips. Beautiful stuff. Look at this. This looks gorgeous. And then what I'm going to do here is I've got some of this gorgeous dried loving earth mangoes. They're just lovely. They really, really are. And you know what? I've discovered discovered these bad boys recently and I think they're fantastic. All you have to do is fold them in half like this with a knife. Yeah, remember four fingers together, thumb at the back. We're going to do like little thick juliennes. Yeah, like this. They're hard, so be careful. Just depending on how many of these bad boys you want. Fresh is not going to do the justice, they really do need to be dehydrated. You could always have other dehydrated fruits in there as well. Just depending on what you can get your hands on. The trick here is to make things happen. Yeah? If you can make them happen with what I'm showing you, great. If you can, substitute. Here we go. Just basically as much as you like. I'm just going to put about 3-4 in there, 5 in there. Beautiful. Look at that. Here we go. Check it out. Check this out. Doesn't that look so gorgeous? See, everything you do needs to have a finesse. Yeah? Because that's how you can pimp up your mojo. Now what I've got here is some infused uh, saffron light agave. Just going to put about one fourth of a cup. I would say that's about one fourth of a cup. Right, make sure you use a measuring jar. And then, with a the spoon or your fingers, I'm just going to use my fingers here. Make sure it's really, really uh, mixed properly. Very important. The reason why I'm doing it on top of this cooking paper is because then I'm going to transfer it. We have to dehydrate it for about three to four hours. I'm going to use a bit more agave here. The agave here is more of a binding agent to bind everything together. Okay, but you do need to have patience. This cacao powder takes time to blend in, mix into the mixture. There we go, look at that. Beautiful, it's getting there. And what you do is uh, you make your nut milk, whether it's with lacuma, garbage, mesquite, cacao powder, goji berries, you know, even dried up mangoes in there. Whatever kind of tree-based nut milk that you're going to have, you then leave it in the fridge. It does last about three to four days. And it's just easy, imagine. You have some of this granola mixture made, put in jars, just get up in the morning to some really beautiful goodness, right? Basically, that's us. Just going to lift this up and show you. Look, yeah, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to basically spread this around a little bit. Like that. Look, look at this, eh? Beautiful. And then just dehydrate that for about four hours and then. This is what it's going to look like, yeah? Beautiful, look at that. 